this video, I'm going to show you how you can import requirements. For this, let's click on the settings button on the upper right hand side. It will open a drop down menu and you will be able to see import section with um, the last one being the requirements documents import. If, we, if I click on it, you will see that I'm going to be able to define the file which I would like to so browse and define the file which I would like to upload. And I will have to give a root node. So the root node will be where in the requirements folders we would like to import those requirements. So you can see these are all the ones that are existing um, at the current stage. And I have actually created for our demo an import requirements folder. Okay, so we would then place it in here. Before we do that, of course, we need to download the template to see how we have to structure our um, uh, requirements. For this, let's click on View in, uh, Import File Example. And what we'll do, it will then um, download an Excel file, which we can use as our template for the import. Now, in this template, um, you will have to consider a few things. And I'm going to go through that um, uh, because it's quite relevant. What you can see here on the first column is the name of the requirement you would like to import. And at the same time, it's also the hierarchy level. And um, depending on how uh, familiar we are with um, Excel, you will be able to um, 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 change the levels by just clicking here on, on those two arrows um, to, to define the levels uh, we would like to have it on. Now, then we have the description field. So name, we have the description field. We have the owner field. Um, again, make sure that you have here the right person um, uh, person's email because that's going to be important. Otherwise, the upload will not work. You can allocate it as well to a release. You can actually also add user-defined fields. Um, here they have made an example, story points underscore UDF, priority underscore UDF. These are um, user-defined fields in this case, which um, are not standard there. Then you have a face. Face, um, 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 of course, you need to make sure that the face, if you have changed them in Octane, that you make sure that you fit the ones that are existing. And then attachments are not a, able to be imported um, in this way, so um, important to know for for, the, for you, um, you if you have no use to define uh, fields, then remove those two columns and also the attachment column you can remove. This is just to let you know that there is no possibility to import attachment at this current stage. So I have prepared a little document which I'm going to quickly share with you. Um, I call it the requirements import. Um, and you can see I, I have used the structure here and I've, here on the description side I've just said import requirements. I didn't add anything additionally. I have no, I have no release information in this one. So if I um, expand column C, you will see that this is empty. And I have uh, the face uh, chosen as draft. Um, but that's basically it. So it's very flat what I've done except the structure here, which will create also uh, parent and children uh, set up. Let me now um, close this and um, I will um, show to you um, where we are going to put that. So I'm not going to import it right now, but I'm going to first show you where I'm going to import it. And also show you that at the current stage, the requirement is empty there. So I'm now in the manage mode. You can see that here on the tabs, manage mode. And I can see here this folder which I've created, this import requirements folder, where I would like now to import all my requirements that are in this Excel file. I can click right away from here to into settings. I don't have to go back to the home screen and just say again, import requirement documents. As I mentioned beforehand, the root node, I think it's the very last one here, import requirements. And then I will just select the file. Let me browse. And then say import requirements import file. Say open. And then I click on import. And now I'm hoping that I didn't do any mistakes. 
I will um, see that this is now importing. Please be aware that if you do mistakes, the system will tell you where it has a mistake. So um, make sure that you just um, 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 upload and then review it, and then um, you can change your file and uh, try again. It has now completed. So it tells me re required import complete. 30 requirement documents added under import requirements. Um, I could directly jump to there. I'm already there, so I can just also close it. Let me refresh to see if it has happened. And yes, here I can see it. It has happened. Um, and the same thing, of course, will also happen here. Um, you, what you will see here is now that it also created the folder structure. So I have student application, teacher application here. And if I open up, I will see the database structure, student interface, and so on. Whenever I click on any, it will reduce and show only the requirements that are children of that specific requirement document level. So this is it for the import of the requirements. Uh, thanks for listening.